That's insane, yo. OpenAI has just released their most advanced model of ChatGPT 01. And if you are a premium user, then you can test out the preview as well as the 01 mini. Now, before we get into testing this out, let's actually look at their blog posts showcasing some of the stats that this has done. So first off, they're introducing the OpenAI 01, their new large language model that's trained with reinforcement learning to perform complex reasoning. So essentially what this does different from the other models is it thinks. And you're thinking, what? What do you mean that? It literally thinks like a human in that sense, or at least the way they display it. And that is the difference between the current AI models right now is if you just ask it a simple question, it just pretty much spits out the answer. And nine times out of 10, if it's a complicated question or you have a lot of different things listed in your prompts, then you pretty much are going to have something wrong with it, at least from my experience. So let's just see some highlights. So first off, it ranks 89th percentile on the competitive programming questions code forces, top 500 students in the U.S. in a qualified U.S. math Olympiad, and exceeds human Ph.D. level accuracy on the benchmarks of physics, biology, chemistry. So let's actually look at some charts. So first off, they have this graph, and this is showcasing the time at training and then at test time. And you can see how it's slightly different on the actual test time. And then if we go down here, this is what's actually really interesting. So take a look at the comparison between GPT-40 and then O1. Like it's literally levels, like it's levels above what it was comparing it to their previous models. And you can even see here, this is for code forces. So if people, um, your programmers are coding, you can see the difference in the knowledge that the new model, at least right now, this is the one that we can, at least I can access, but I'm sure if you have like enterprise or whatever, maybe different, but as of right now, and then there's the actual O1 that you can see here. Now for the interesting part for the PhD science questions, it seems to be a little bit, uh, the preview actually does a little bit better, but even comparing this to GPT-4, while it is a pretty decent accuracy, the levels above, it's obviously significantly better. And then you compare this to actual PhD experts and it's it's better than the humans, which for at least this particular topic, I mean, I can't comment on, I don't know anything about it, but for it to compare to the top researchers out there in the world, and it's literally done better already. And this is just their new, newest model right now. I mean, think about what's gonna happen in the next few years. So you can see here some of the improvements. So first off, we can see the benchmarks for ML and we have exams. Then we have these categories here, MMLU, and then the PhD question. So let's just go take a look real quick. First of all, GPT-40, that is in like the orange color. And then we have the blue for the OI. So pretty much almost every single thing seems to be slightly better just this ap english language didn't really do much and uh some here like this one it didn't really go too much higher but i mean it's already like almost maxed out it's quite a significant boost now here's some more cool stuff here so this is actually crazy to see so right now if you read this sentence the 2024 it says here the aime exam gpt 40 it only solved 1.8 out of 15. So literally, it basically failed this test. And then O1 averaged 11.1 out of 15. So literally levels above, that's like what? Almost a 6x difference in terms of the amount of questions that got correct. And if we continue down here, this is what's really cool with, uh, you can actually, these are some, some examples that you'll see, and then I'll test it out myself at the end. So we'll see it tested in real time, at least the preview version. But this is the new part, the chain of thought. So example, so humans, we think when someone asks you a question, you know, what's two plus two, you think about it and then you respond. And then depending on the additional information you add to it, then you obviously will think of a different response. But uh, 
here we can see it is pretty much utilizing that to break it down in the steps so that instead of typical AI models, I'm sure if you've used before, or if you've never used it, if you just ask it a very complicated question, it literally could give you something accurate, but then other things have no idea what it's saying. But for now, let's just take a look. So we're going to go through a few of these to see the difference. And some of these are actually kind of crazy to see that, uh, the drastic, uh, answer, uh, compared. So for example, you can't really see right here, this blocking, but this is GPT 4.0. And then this is the OI or the O1 preview, which is the one we will be messing around with soon. So this is a thing that is going to ask, and I can actually test this out with, uh, for example, let, let me, I'll say that I'm go through the examples first, and then I'll show you on another AI program, uh, Gemini, we'll see how it actually answers to see if, if this is even um, good or is this just um, base level. So first off, let's start off with the GBT 4.0. Basically what it does, it goes through and it uh, gets the input. Actually, let's read through question in case you guys uh, didn't see. So it gives you a bunch of random uh, letters. It says think step by step. Use the example above to decode it and then has a bunch of more letters. So most humans, if you're reading this, this would take you who knows how long to figure out the answer. So for me, I'd have to go in here, look at all these, and then even understand like, what is this? So, I mean, in general, what I'm thinking is this is pretty much you uh, got to put letters together, you know? So here, this is 4.0, okay? Gives you the output or the input, then says things step by step. Got some more uh, code. And then basically when it goes down, it shows us some possible options. And then look, this is what typically happens with um, AI programs. They'll say, can you provide additional information, especially with like programming stuff. Now take a look at the open 01 preview. This time it's showing chain of thought. And here it looks significantly better in terms of the response, the way it looks. It gives us the letters and it's saying decoded thing step by step. So now what it's doing here is it's converting each letter to its numerical position, which is something I would have never even thought of in a million years and then continues and now is going back and doing some more calculations and look at this breaks down you can see the decoded letters going all the way down here second word third word and look at this look at how it's calculating all this stuff it's found the words and then pretty much if you go all the way to the bottom it'll show you the answer there are three r's in strawberry and that's apparently what the answer was and that they wanted to so you can already see the difference in the two models O1 one significantly does better so to put this to the test let's actually try this out on another well-known famous model out there gemini advanced so let me go bring that up real quick so here is gemini advanced this is their premium version and i'm going to paste this in and i'll try to replicate the way they had it like this and let's see in real time what happens if i were to do this and depending on uh, at least the way this works, let's see. So it's breaking it down. It analyzes the letters. Okay. Let's see here, step by step. And look at this. This is the answer. The final decode message with the placeholders intact is think step by step. <laughs> and then this is clearly, yeah. Gemini Advanced so far, you, I think, did maybe a little bit better than uh, 4.0 in the sense that at least um, this one asked for it. This one, at least Gemini gave us an answer, but okay. So let's take a look at the coding difference. So I do not have any uh, knowledge on this particular coding language, but essentially this is saying write a bash script that takes a matrix represented as a string with the formats and it looks like it has like a tick and then one, two, and then three, four, five, six, and these are in brackets and these quotes and print the transpose in the uh, same format. Okay, so here it goes through, show some code. Now, I don't know what this particular code is saying, but um, I can kind of see the general outline and it looks, I mean, it looks like a decent uh, response here. And you see the difference, says save the script, make it executable, some stuff here. And so, so whoever knows this particular language can definitely comment, but this is what it shows here and it has like this X, which um, I'm not sure what that even replies or what that's supposed to mean, but um, 
you'll see why I, I say what that doesn't like doesn't make sense to me right now coming from someone who doesn't understand this particular language because when you see the the O1 preview same thing except this time it shows chain of thoughts it says first let's understand the outputs okay one two three four five six yep 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 transpose matrix and then we see one three five two four six and so it shows the bash script constraints table with the parsing strings so the main difference here that i've just at least noticed right away is this uh this chain of thought where it, it pretty much showcases all this information here and then when it continues to write down all this code here it looks a little bit different so i guess the difference is maybe the the output the code because the one part that doesn't uh, make sense to me is if you go down here scroll down yeah so the code looks like significantly more but when you get to the bottom it shows the output one three five two four six so am i tripping i guess the the only two things i've noticed the difference is right here this plain text has this underscore matrix.sh and then this part so according to this example i'm assuming that this is the the correct way to do it yet the actual output i mean unless my eyes are tripping it looks exact same to me i mean there's no different strings uh but anyways the difference at least from this particular example that i see clearly is just the way it explains the how it got to the answer and then also i guess the code is maybe slightly different and i even tried this out on gemini and it gave me this answer which i think it has these extra brackets around which I'm not 100% sure, but usually when I see things that maybe shouldn't be, but I mean, it gave the same correct order. I just don't know if these brackets are supposed to be there or not. But either way, I'm going to test out with my own um, coding questions later on, so don't worry about that. And then let's take a look at math. Okay, so first off, let's see here. The MBN even positive integer, PB monic, and polynomial. So we got a pretty much a complicated math question that back in high school i probably would be able to answer and remember but off the top of my head it's been a minute but basically let's just see the difference so it was a bunch of um examples and let's just take a look it says right here x is equal to plus minus one plus minus two to pretty much the end so here let's see the difference without uh checking the chain of thought first and let's see what the answer shows so Conclusion, additional real numbers, x satisfying this. So this is a completely different answer from what um, at least it's showing here. Wait, no, it's saying x p half is x2. Okay, that makes sense, but this part looks like it's different. So yeah, if I were to go in here and try to solve this again, I'm sure I'll probably get a similar answer. But here's the difference. Again, chain of thoughts, and you can see it goes step by step. And then this just repeats. I'm not going to go through every single example, but... Basically, you can see here, crossword puzzle. So actually, let's do this one. This one looks like it makes sense. Let's see, English. I think English, it wasn't too different. And at least that one test, there's science, safety, and then health science. So let's, let's finish with this crossword, and then I'm gonna go and actually test it out and see the real usage. So solve the crossword puzzle. Let's see here. We got one, one, two, six over here, and then it goes seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and then one through 13. And then it's going to see here, it shows, um, so this is the prompt across, and then it shows down. And let's just, so let's go all the way down. Here it's showing do Dodger, and I don't even know what that word is. What is this? D-F-A-M-L, whatever. Let's go look at this side. See here, and look, okay, so this one's significantly more detailed in advance. And yeah, com completely different, right? As you can see here, soft here. So that is showcasing chain of thought, which is actually crazy. Now let's take a look at coding. So this is what's interesting about this. Now let's take a look at coding. So if you follow me for programming, mainly front end stuff, this is more for algorithms. But essentially, here's some highlights. It scored 213 points and ranked 49 percentile in this uh, IOI competition. And pretty much it had the exact same things that humans were to do so essentially 10 hours solve six problems and only 50 submissions per problem now they have stated that if they were to do it differently they would have scored lower on terms of if it was randomized and then if they had no constraints in terms of what's required and they could do for example 10k submissions per problem 
then they would have achieved literal gold medal threshold, which is significantly higher than they would scored in the standard test. And the craziest part here is for code forces, GPT-40 has an ELO rating of 808, which is 11 percentile, but the model exceeds both 40 and 01, has 1807, which is literally almost at 100%, 7% away, 93% of comparative. So we can see this chart right here, and this is the um, 01 IOI uh, model, which is better than the current 01 right now. And this is the one that at least us, at least me and just the general population have access to, which is 01 Preview. So basically, I'm sure maybe enterprises or whatever mega companies might have like early, I'm sure maybe, who knows. But at least right now, the one that I can test out for uh, you guys is this one. And it's not, I mean, it's still much better than 4.0, but this model, bro, I want access to this model. Like what? That's crazy. And then you can see here some more stuff regarding um, oh, on preview versus GPT-4. So even just a preview uh, right now, it seems like it's uh, pretty much chilling, a little bit better. Safety, this is actually interesting in terms of, because um, some people try to do certain like ways to like hack it or like make it say things that it shouldn't. So significantly higher percentiles for a lot of these topics here. And then basically you can see some more stats. Now, what you've all been waiting for, 01 preview time. And this is my first time even testing this out myself. And I think I read it was like a 30 limit or something. I got to check um, at least today because, you know, they just announced this. But um, will AI replace coders? Well, let us try this out and I'll use the same question I typically ask AI. And I'll say this. Write code for a website in HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Make it about an AI. Let's do healthcare company needs a nav bar with home about services and contact needs uh and actually i'm um, let's do this uh make the design modern and stylish and then uh let's see what else make it mobile responsive too and then uh let's just keep it at that this is pretty generic i'll copy this just in case i'll test it out and uh, make it fully coded out with um, pre-filled info so it looks like a fully built website that let's say a client would see. Okay, ChatGPT01 preview testing, let's go. So right now what it's doing, it is thinking and it's sketching out the vision, confirming content, and it's thought for five seconds. And let's just take a look right away at this code. Got the services, the nav bar here. We've got this home section, okay. About, now we have this services section. Okay, see, oh, it's fully, fully um, filled out here. And we got this, Okay, we got an email. Ooh, this is nice. This is actually really nice. And you're probably like, what are you talking about? Bro, I know because I've tried this exact phrase before on different AI platforms, and I'm telling you the response it gave me is significantly worse than what this is right here. This is literally way better than, than what I've been looking at. So for people who do not know any code or have no idea why I'm so hyped right now, look, look at this. Okay, I'm gonna copy this code. Go to VS Code, my code editor, just sit back and relax. Let me uh, make a new file real quick. Uh, I need to go into my folders. And then, um, uh, let's see, let's say, uh, what is this? ChatGPT site one. Oh, I should have put, oh, whatever, it doesn't matter. And then let's do sites. And let me open this up real quick. Okay, so here. Let me index HTML real quick. Okay, P 
paste that in. Let me see what is a style. Style CSS, okay. Style.css. And uh, let me go back. Now let's look at look at the code real quick here. Let's go here. Let's see the styling. Okay, it looks pretty standard, nothing too crazy. Oh, this is crazy. This is crazy. It added an image. Okay, okay. And you're probably thinking, oh, this is this basic HTML CSS. No, like you don't understand. I've tried this already multiple times with other um, AI and it did not did not do this the way I did it. Okay, so let's go here, paste this in. Uh, then I have, let me see, what is he using? Um, script, okay, so let's do script.js. Okay, okay, okay. All right, so now, okay, I'm kind of I'm kind of hyped. I'm, I'm like actually hyped to see what's about, what's about to happen. All right, so right click, OLS server, let's see, moment of truth. So here is the website is created. So um, let me, this is technically, uh, let me just make this larger real quick. Okay, here, go back, here we go. All right, there we go. Okay, so first off, let's just take a look at what's going on. All right, my computer is lagging real quick. Give me a second, hold on. All right, so here about highlights okay this is pretty nice this is pretty nice let's see if um let's scroll through real quick so we've got the explore services about us services here and we have this contact email so this is this is actually pretty impressive like you might think oh you've seen this it looks really dumb but okay first off one thing that's not working is the um the unsplash image which is right here in the uh the URL. So uh, let's actually go here and let me go here. So yeah, it says 404, so it's not working. So let me actually go and let's look at the code. But first off, let, let me just first off, let's just take a look at this because the first thing is it is is template wise, it's it's like really crazy. Cause I could go in here myself since I already know coding and just tweak up a couple of things, add in like a little mobile menu add some effects and like like bro this is like this is a pretty good starter template that i did one paragraph like like literally what two three years ago for you to code something this simple would take you a few hours especially if you don't know any coding especially got all the css right here like the code all this stuff from bare minimum you don't know anything and you're trying to test out your design that's really difficult but let's see here what it did actually image when you run the code you see a modern responsive website over here so here it says it can't actually add the image so what i can say is um first of all the image uh isn't showing up when i copied the link to the browser it showed 404 and there's another thing let's see let's see other issues is um when i go to uh look like this for example Right here, I'm not gonna be mad, mad slow right now because I'm recording and I got like coding up. But basically, you can see like the home is still highlighted, which um we can fix that later. But um, another thing I too would like is if this is car. But we're, we're, I'll worry about that later. I'm I'll mess around that after the um afterwards. But the the other thing is the um right here. This part isn't centered properly. So if I go and copy this real quick, and then I can say this text isn't centered properly. Cen centered. I'll copy it like this. Oh, wait, no. Bro, what happened? And when I hover over the nav menu items, the others turn blue but the home still remains blue even when i hover over about or the services etc i'm not even gonna fix my typing because it knows and then the next thing i would say is what else could we add here um there is no mobile menu icon showing when it is in uh, mobile or tablet view 
and I want the menu to show a drop down when I click on the mobile menu menu I'll say mobile hamburger menu and let's see here let's just try to fix some text here I'm gonna leave this part of purposely um broken and then I'll say also I like the services so I'm showing you right now what I want services um, section to be showing cards for the descriptions so surround them in card design all right so let's see what happens oh one and again this isn't even the the final form this is the preview so it's right now it's kind of cool it's it's literally saying what it's doing and why it's fixing it and depending on if this actually does it what i just asked it i'm gonna lose it i'm gonna lose it because like you don't understand there's there's these little things with ai right now that it's not doing which oi supposedly is filling in those little uh missing pieces and let's see if it uh let's see if it gave me the full code or if it just did everything it looks like it gave me the full code so let's let's just uh let's just do this again copy over here i'm just gonna i'm just gonna straight up just paste this back in okay let's do that first all right so that the only thing okay next we need to go to styles so i'm already seeing like stuff has changed so let's go here so one thing too is the um, the text the terms of the uh the size of this response is thick bro look at how long this response is jesus come on like before dude like when first gbt came out bro like you could not do any of that stuff and then script i think is same all right so it looks like right now the image isn't working what what yo that's crazy that's crazy that's insane yo like you don't understand see people might not get this because i've made a website like uh tutorial with with like this same feature and it took me weeks when i was first learning how to do it and the fact that ai just did it and it fixed okay look 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 look, look at this look at this let's, let's test it out this, this is crazy this is actually crazy all right so first of all i said let me let me show you what i what we just did this there's, there's still one the one issue is that image which I'm, I'm gonna try to fix myself manually because um i guess the way it's linking it's, it's just not uh hold on wait a minute this is kind of crazy now nah, this isn't kind of this is crazy bro this is not nah, this is not nah, this hold on hold on where's my look at how much text all right all right so first off all right so image showing up okay we, we didn't get that copy link okay blah blah blah. okay first off let's see the text isn't centered on this part so look at centered here and then um when i go big okay boom it's centered this right here it's centered okay next up what did i say when i hover over the nav menu items the other turn blue but the home still remains the same which which um i just saw already but uh if you weren't sure like before home was like highlighted so right now we're on home but now when I hover over, so C is blue, but then my computer's lagging too. So don't worry about it. But see, look, look at this, look at this. This this is crazy. All right, that's that's crazy. Okay, two. Mobile and you and tablet and then drop down when I click it. Okay, so here's the mobile hamburger menu item. I clicked it, which you I think you probably already seen already, and it works. And then I click it again and it's gone. Okay, so that's three. And then the service section won't have cards and then the image. All right, so the service section, yo, oh my God, that's crazy. Bro, look at this. Look at this. That's 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 so impressive. Look at this. This this is crazy, bro. Okay, so so the last the last thing is this image. So, so we're gonna fix this image and then I'm gonna show you why. I'm like, all right, so let's go here. And 
for some reason 404 okay so let me just do this myself so here i'm on unsplash uh let's do like ai health or something and um i'm not sure if unsplash changed their because f before what you could have done is you could have um bro my computer is fried hold on where is this at all right so first off let's do Uh, let's just pick this. This one looks pretty cool. Let's go here. Um, copy image address. Let's see if uh, this works. Oh, this is a premium photo. What? Hold up. Oh, yeah, it definitely ain't going to show. Oh, it did. It did. Whoa. It did. But it got the watermark. All right, so I can't use that one. My bad. My fault. That's premium. I ain't supposed to be using. Wait, Unsplash ain't free, huh? Hold a minute. Wait a minute. Since when? Since when Unsplash is not free? What? Give me that free image. Wait a minute. All right, hold on, hold on. Okay, okay. My fault. I ain't gonna use that image. Let me delete that one real quick. Let's pick. Um. But yeah. So if you if you're still trying to learn code too, I'll show, I'm showing you guys like um how you even add this in. So I think. I guess the data it was being trained on was uh, all right. This is taking too long. Let me say AI tech. I need to change it to um, landscape real quick. Oh yeah, this fire. Oh yeah, I don't think it's gonna fit. But let's do copy. You gotta copy the image address, and this is like a go here paste. Bro, stop playing. What? Look at this site. Oh my gosh, look at this. This is so crazy. Obviously, I can fix the um the font and the like the sh the shadow whatever. But uh yeah, actually I could do that like right now. Let me do that real quick. All right, so I added um this code real quick. And maybe I could do like 70.7. Ooh, that's too dark. Hold on. Let me do 0.3. Yeah. All right, check it out. Look at this. All right, with within if I were to do this like with two prompts, bro, with two prompts, it made this website, bro. What? I could tweak this up. This looks actually decent. I could change this up. Add these with images, contact, and this is all I wrote. Imagine I added a bit additional more things. Now, one thing I want to see is if I click on the about page. What? Yo, this is click to scroll. Services. Oh, stop playing, bruh. So again, this is with just HTML CSS, which as of today, this is the best AI program for creating simple website templates that I've tested out that could do it with two prompts. The others could not even do this, man. This is what I've been trying to do. We could tweak this up a little bit, but yo, GPT 4.0. Oh, that's amazing. This is crazy. So yeah. Guess what I'm going to do now? I'm going to see the limits that GPT-4 or not. What is it? GPT-01, my fault. GPT-01, what the limits are in terms of the coding ability. I'll do that for a future project. But uh, this is amazing. We're going to test it out later on. Feel free to subscribe for more future videos on this topic. And I'll see you in the next one.